I own my dream bike, but there's a massive problem with it. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Bash and this is Nomad Scrambler. Today, today we're talking about all the rest of the things that I hate about the Triumph Street Scrambler. And I've said it before, I don't hate this bike, I paid good money for this bike. So why I say I hate it? Well, these are just things that I wish Triumph would fix, to be honest. And um, I guess let's get into it. The number one thing that I am really struggling with this bike at the moment is the uh, the tank range. It's advertised at like 180 miles for the tank. And that is, that's all well and good, but when you're doing long distance rides that goes very very quickly and i wish that they just the tank capacity was just a little bit more i feel like there's so much more room especially with the way that your right leg has to stick out anyway i mean like look you could definitely squeeze in an extra liter or two you know try and like just uh give me a little bit more range like if i could get to that magic like 250 250 mile of range this bike would be absolutely perfect however for me the lack of range is, is kind of killing it at the moment i am i am not enjoying the amount that i have to fill up every time i forget this road goes left moving on this one for me is probably not a big deal for some people but but again, when you're on big trips, I have to have my phone mounted to the bars constantly because for a 2019 bike, this thing has three modes and that's it. There is no other real technology on this bike. It is an analog display with a small LCD display. Most bikes these days, especially like even the new street scramblers aren't coming with um, a TFT and you're you're just limited by what you can display on the dash or buying some kind of third party unit to mount like there's um this new ching chio or whatever it is um unit that is like a, a car play unit for your bike but it also does gps uh tire pressure monitoring all things that you've like come to expect as standard on newer bikes and that for me is killing it <laughs> yeah, if it had more technology this bike again it's like the approachable scrambler so i can see why triumph has done it it's uh it's kind of like the midline now i guess if you include the uh the scrambler 400x which uh in my opinion it's not scrambler where's the high pipe Where's the high mudguard? I, I literally was just in Triumph looking at that bike, by the way. I could do a whole video on why I don't like that bike. If that's something you want to see, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see if I can get a test ride in and, uh, yeah, ride one of those. Um, but, yeah, this is like the midline scrambler now. And the, even the lower scrambler below it, scrambler, has more technology than this bike does. And that... That's killing it off, man. Like, update it. Come on, bring it back. Although, the Scrambler 400X doesn't have this sound, so who's really winning? <laughs> I guess the next point for me... This one's not a major gripe, I won't lie to you. This is um, this is more me nitpicking at this point. Is the, the Metzlers. Like, yeah, they're a good brand of tyre. But... Can we, uh, can we get something a bit more premium? You're paying over £10,000 or close to £10,000 for one of these bikes. Over ten grand if you want a non, uh, like, default paint. As in, like, the base paint. If you want anything more, you're looking at adding £500. So, give us the option to get some, some kind of better tyre. From the catalogue, there's nothing wrong with Metzlers. These have performed great in the time that I've owned them. They're only just getting to um, their end of life, I guess, where they need to be changed. It's, this bike's five years old now. It's not even done close to the recommended amount before changing the tyres. However, because they're getting old, 
it's time to give them a little change. Which is, which is fine. And it's part of owning a bike. You wouldn't own a car for 12 years and not expect to have to change the tires on it. So why, why not expect it when they're the only two parts of the, the vehicle that's touching the ground? You might as well make sure that you've got some really, really good quality rubber on there. I'm going to do probably a review on the new tires I put on anyway. But anyway, back to my list. The, I guess the fourth thing for me that I am kind of struggling with, I don't take a pillion that often. However, every pillion I've taken has said the same thing. The seat, it, it's just so small for a pillion. Like, it's got this massive rider seat, which is fine. And I don't like the look of bench seat. So that's out for me as well. But the stock pillion seat is so small and it leaves there's no like grab rail there's no nothing for the pillion so they are like on this tiny little seat holding on to you to for dear life and that is that's emotional for them i guess <laughs> i don't mind i'm just riding the bike but no like if the seat was a bit bigger a bit even a bit wider or it came with some kind of better way to hold on this bike again it would be much more approachable for having a pillion on i know people bench seat these and they do look good with a bench seat some of them that i've seen but for me it's, it just doesn't fit the look i i want from the bike it would also get covered in filth every single time i went out riding because i watched the bike the other day and uh, it's already filthy from these back roads because I don't like riding on main roads I don't see the attraction of riding like A roads and B uh, A roads and motorways as I like to ride them to get to places but when I'm there I want to hit lanes I want to hit, hit curvy lanes and I just want to enjoy myself and you can't do that uh, <laughs> without getting some mud on the bike and I guess, for me, the bench seat would just be constantly filthy, I'd be constantly cleaning it, constantly washing, and that's not something I'm wanting to do. This bike is it's absolutely great, but there's like those minor things that you pick up after riding it, and I think now's a good time to do it. It's about a year and a couple of months since I bought this bike, and after riding it continuously for a year, you do notice things that you, you do wish would change, and, and that is one of them for me. That being said, if there's anything that you guys think I've missed, other than the things that I've mentioned in this video, and if you've not watched the previous video, five things I hate about the Drive Street Scrambler, go ahead and check that out. Let me know in the comment section below, and make sure you like the video, subscribe if you aren't already and ring the bell so you get notified when i post new videos and and i will catch you in the next one peace